get ready to 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 be politically uh uh, divided because this is a gun show now. I better get some background checks here. Oh wait, no, they don't have them because it's a gun show. <laughs> the Godfather, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, the Friday movies, trilogies all undone by the Hollywood machine, and now. Josh's workout joins that prestigious list. I was in LA this week and I was really pumped to do some working out there. I was like, oh, I'm gonna run Venice Beach. I visited Funhouse one day and thought, those guys are fit. James and Bruce, Adam Kovic, it's a meaty, meaty man. And so I thought, oh, we'll do, it'll make a fun video of it. We'll all do push-ups and sit-ups and we'll wash each other's backs. And then nothing happened. I'll tell you what's accurate right about this especially is that in combat everyone gets different colored crosshairs <laughs> yeah, yeah. and that's how you know not to shoot the same thing Take as cover. your buddies. I don't know why I didn't work out. I guess I was busy. I, I was on some friends film sets and I had a donut. Uh, that's not really an excuse, it's more an admission. This week I completely killed my workout. Mainly because of Christian because we actually started incorporating stuff um, and working on these guns. We did this thing where he hooked up these ropes and I was like, you know, like, like a, like a, a carriage man. Like, do it, like the guy from Ben-Hur, the Mexican guy from Touch of Evil. The, the, Moses. Yeah, I was like Moses in the horse movie. I really feel like a physical difference. I mean, still in the chair, obviously. Don't know when the when the walking will kick in, but hoping it'll be pretty soon. So this week I finally got to see a neurologist who basically told me that he didn't think my QRI malformation had anything to do with any of the pain I've been in or any of the numbness I've been experiencing, that it is solely Ryan's fault and the continuing issue of my concussion. He told me no running for a week and I have to ice the nerve in the back of my head. Um, I actually am going to see a specialist in a few weeks, and there is part of me that, you know, obviously this half marathon means a lot to me, it's a really big goal, but it would be kind of sweet to be like, oh, I really wanted to do it, but my doctor just says I can't. It's like you get all the kudos for wanting to do it, but then you don't actually have to run the 13.1 miles. Ah, that'd be kind of sweet. So Meg's out of commission for a little while with their Chiari thing, which is really weird because I'm pretty sure those are the bad guys from Avengers. What are they doing in there? Get out of there. Someone get Iron Man. Or I guess Ant-Man would be more useful. That's kind of a bummer about Meg. Um, but now that she's uh, officially disabled, I do have some tips. First of all, Everything she does from now on is going to be inspiring. I couldn't run this week, so I had to get my workout in by doing strength training and a lot of walking. So I actually entertained myself on a 6.2 mile walk on the treadmill by watching the 1995 classic Packers. Starring Angelina Jolie and her titties. A lot of titties. One of the tough things about doing a workout show going into the, the fall and winter is that there's so many holidays. And I actually have an extra holiday that some people don't have, which is Veterans Day. Josh is an actual war hero. Um, and so we celebrated that by going to Chili's. It was really nice to, to you know, share that day with him. <laughs> he got the burrito and I got, <laughs> I got a steak. So instead of offering my actual hero friend the fancier meal, I was like, no, you, 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 take, the, you take the veterans menu. It was not super healthy, but it was one day, and I fought a war for that. So I've been moving, and one of the things I was doing in moving was sorting through all the clothes that I refused to throw away, even though I haven't been able to fit in them for years. And I actually, uh, before we started Buff Buddies, had this problem where I couldn't fit into any of my clothes properly, but I refused to buy clothes that fit. So I was just squeezing myself into jeans and like doing the thing where you lay on the floor and you like hop up and down. Meg and I have a really similar strategy for buying clothes when we're big, which is that we don't. So I actually uh, rounded up things that are just not realistic right now and I donated them. I'm a little pissed that Meg was throwing away clothes and she didn't think to offer me any. I would have worn some of those. I think I could look 
cute in some of those tops. The only thing I do have to buy is pants because eventually your waist just can't fit it. And I actually have this really nice express suit that I look really good in mm. and I cannot wear it. So that's actually one of my barometers for how I know that I'm in good shape. In fact, last spring, Zach and Chris and Aaron and I all went to see Fifty Shades of Grey dressed as the characters. And you can look at me and say, oh, that's, that guy's a Mr. Grey. Mr. Grey couldn't fit in his suit, so guess who was in Anastasia? My diet this week, I actually did a really good job, um, which was nice. I think I felt like I had to watch it more because I wasn't running. And um, and my cheat day meal sucked, so I didn't even eat that much of it, so I was really good. So um, I'm going to give myself five hero thin joshes, which sound like a Girl Scout cookie. I'd like thin joshes, please. Get stuck in your teeth. I would rate myself still more disabled than Meg. And I guess I'll say four, four out of five Hero Joshes, because I think five out of five Hero Joshes would be Josh. Let's all celebrate Josh for a second. Moment of Josh. All right, that's enough. I think I would give myself two and a half thin Hero Me's. Uh, yeah, it was, t it was it was not a good week. It was uh, we're gonna we're gonna hope to to find our our thin patriotism again and and bounce back so yeah if you go fight a war for your country one day a year you get free chilies so get out get out there and sign up this week's Buff Buddies of the Week are Rajzilla, Kitty Pan, and Lauren Brooke. Lauren Brooke. That sounds like a fake name. Who are you? Who are you? Buff Buddies is fueled by Onnit. Go to onnit.com slash buff for 10% off all supplements. Plus, there's a website with pictures of us all now so you can go home and do go to the website and lock yourself in your bedroom and do whatever it is you will <laughs> <laughs>